Hi, good morning. This is Kim Buena from the Diocese of Parnao. And the topic I'm presenting to you is about uh, Starlight Righteousness for our topic that we have for today based on, a, on the Wall of Jerusalem for that matter. So basically, how can we understand this particular notion that the stream of consciousness is particularly real? Or the apostolic foundation is the founded, founding knowledge of every light. So basically, we can understand that the rational content of love may, might, might have been a reason for the pre, pre-existing knowledge of love, quote-unquote. However, without the stream of consciousness, understandably by reason of love, we cannot express the reasonable content of eternal love. Is it based on rational concepts? Basically, how can we understand our existence on the now? Based on our soul, on how can we provide our sufficient evidence for our existence in heaven for that matter? So basically, these notions we have based on starlight recognition affects the universe at large. For a fact that the atomic property based on Vatican multirational expresses the unity and content in infallibility of eternal law. So basically, how do we know the substance of a code? Or the substance of a reality of something rather than nothing? So the orthodoxy of everything expresses the unity in morality or the unity in angelic confidence. However, the rationality of a Sinta Marto or Francisco Marto explains the unity in infallibility of eternal law. So basically, the dominions expresses the unity in moral content or the infallibility of the Rublev's trinity. Our co-participation in the Trinity expresses the unity and infallibility of love or the infallibility of eternal love for that matter. However, the Archangel Gabriel expresses the unity in the founding content of eternal love. Any error in educational participation expresses the unity and error, which is universal domination itself, which is not completely doctrinal or any part. So basically, the more we understand the unity of love, the more we understand the unity, unity in the moral content of the expressive meaning of eternal law. There is nothing... Eternal law is definitely meaning, uh, meaning to be that there is not, nothing higher than eternal law itself. Basically, eternal law is the complete governance of God for that matter. There is nothing higher than it because it's orthodoxy. orthodoxy is fully maximal. The Archangel fully participates in the participation of eternal law regardless of our celestial order. Or however, anything that I have committed based on these infallible words that I might have been saying based on papacy cannot commit itself according to infallibility. Otherwise, I, I am willing to express what is willing to be expressed based on eternity. Yahweh approves us that the eternal existence of God is primordially available, quote-unquote. However, any, any other person who is in, uh, in heaven must express himself according to eternal now. Otherwise, we cannot prove that he is in heaven for that matter. Any, can, any, any canonization effort does not prove itself worthy without proving that someone is in heaven for that matter. So basically, we can answer a stream of consciousness based on our thought that the Christ that Christ exists based on eternal now. Eternal is simply understood that uh, some person is in heaven regardless of our eternal affairs go via a prenodial divine morality for that matter. However, eternal expresses that the law of grace is understandably in unison with heaven regardless of our worldly affairs for that matter. However, Vatican Multirational expresses the unity that we are just having fun. Do we, do we uh, particularly have this particular notion that we are just having fun for that matter? However, any educational errors I might have been saying is not a probable cause for my decanonization for that matter. The Archangel simply understandably noted based on the participation of Yahweh otherwise there's no considerable content of divine law. So basically moral law explains that what we can only see is what we can only know. Because Catholicism is implied in moral law itself, otherwise eternal law cannot express itself fully in the love of God via moral law, for eternal law itself cannot express any higher than itself, 
Fright Sabs has completely got the exopunch. <laughs>